Long enough to cover the subject and short enough to keep it interesting. Welcome to Out of My League. I'm Nick Diaz. LSU makes it official. Durante Jones has been hired as the defensive coordinator and he'll also coach safeties. So is this a good hire? No idea. I'll go through his resume in a little bit, but let me say this. There is one absolute that I've seen in coaching hires. Head coach, assistant coaches, whatever. The guy who you hired is almost always the exact opposite of the coach you just fired. If it's an offensive coach who is low-key personality, then you're going to hire a defensive coach who uh, is big personality, and vice versa. And one thing I'll say about Durante Jones, whether or not he is successful, I don't know, we'll get to that, is he is the exact opposite of Bo Pelini. Bo Pelini was a coach in his 50s, stuck in his ways. Durante Jones is 41. Bo Pelini didn't exactly have a warm personality. Durante Jones is understood to be a more likable personality, known as a player's coach. Bo Pelini was a famous retread that had gotten jobs like this before. Durante Jones is an up-and-comer who is finally getting his big break as the defensive coordinator at LSU. And that part is arguably the most important thing about this hire. So LSU has a virtual room uh, in their football facility. It's basically, it's where coaches can teach their scheme virtually as if they were on the field. This is a cool new way for coaches to get around the uh, practice field limitations that are set by the NCAA. So it feels like you're on, on the practice field, but really you're not. You're just in the film room seeing things virtually. Now, do you realize Bo Pelini never once used the virtual room last year? Never once. In a pandemic, couldn't go outside, couldn't use a football, couldn't touch each other, never once used the virtual room. Eh, technology, I don't need that stuff. I'm established. I can do it my way. My way has always worked. As opposed to, hey man, I've never had a job this big in my life. I don't know if I'll ever get this another job like this again. I mean, I've got to use everything at my disposal uh, to, to do the best I can so I don't screw this up. I mean, I better not screw this up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do everything I can, use every resource I have to do well at this job. Hmm. So let's go through Durante Jones's resume and see the jobs he has had. First job, 2001, he was a graduate assistant at something called Lenore Rhine. Sounds like a woman's perfume. 2002, he was a safeties coach at Nichols State. 2003, Franklin High School here in Louisiana, defensive coordinator. 2004, Jarnett High School in here in Louisiana, defensive coordinator. Makes the big jump to college. 2005 to 2009, he was at Bowie State, which is a, Divi- a Division II school in Kentucky, where he was the assistant head coach and defensive coordinator. Three of the five years he was the defensive coordinator, they were in the top three in total defense in all of Division II. And I think one year they were number one in the country. So he was pretty dominant when he was a defensive coordinator. 2010, he moves up to Division I, UCLA, defensive backs coach. That's where Coach O first met him, I believe, because Coach O was at USC. 2011, he becomes the defensive back coach at the CFL, the Montreal Alouettes. 2012 to 2014, he's at Hawaii as the secondary coach and assistant head coach. So he's been an assistant head coach in a lot of different places. 2015, this is where he works with Dave Aranda as Dave Aranda's defensive backs coach. That's where Dave Aranda gave him a reference. 2016, he moves up to the NFL, works with the Miami Dolphins as the defensive backs coach for two years. 18 to 19, Cincinnati Bengals, same position in this past year. 2020 with the Minnesota Vikings defensive backs coach. He has a reference from Dave Aranda, Marvin Lewis, who hired him at Cincinnati, and Mike Zimmer, Minnesota Vikings. He also has a reference from Monte Kiffin. So he's got references from some legendary, brilliant defensive minds at all levels. So good news that he has been a coordinator at one point for an extended period of time, and he was very dominant in Division II for five years. The bad news is that Durante Jones hasn't been a play caller in over a decade. That's the bad news. The good news, though, what's also the good news? Durante Jones hasn't been a play caller in over a decade. 
See what I mean? Because I haven't been a defensive coordinator in so long, I need to make the most of this opportunity. I'm not going to squander this opportunity. Coach O went with the exact opposite of Bo Pelini. Is this the sexiest hire that LSU fans will like the most? Who cares? LSU fans like Matt Canada and Bo Pelini, and they dislike Joe Brady and Steve Ensminger. So forgive me if I don't give a shit about the perception of LSU fans. Perception is not reality. Truth is reality. So will Durante Jones be successful? I'm not going to pretend like I know. I'm just not. I'm not going to pretend like I know X's and O's as well as everyone else, or I know him, or I watched his Bowie State defensive coordinator film. I don't. I don't know. But I know this. Is he qualified? Hell yeah, he is. I mean, just read you his resume. Been successful at every stop he's been at. Great references. Has he called plays? Yes. Been a while, but he was very good at it, and he has play calling experience. So if Durante Jones fails, what will be the reason why he fails? Well, I know the reason why he won't fail. It won't be because he's ungrateful or lacking humility or has laziness. That much I know. Thanks for listening to Out of My League. If you like what you heard, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or follow me on Twitter at the Nick Diaz.